What's going on guys? This is Tony. Welcome to Rolando Details. So in today's video, we have a lot going on. All this video is going to be in one day. Uh, normally I do like different um, days, you know, or stuff, you know, that happens on, on our life, you know, and stuff like that. But in this video, everything is going to be in one day. So and let me tell you guys what we got going on today. Today we have a setup to build. Uh, this is going to be on a Transit Connect 2017. Um, we have the frame already ready for the client, but the client is bringing all the equipment for us. Uh, so we're going to be doing this setup. We're going to be giving some training to the client as well for uh, the uh, ceramic coating uh, training that we have going on over here at Raldo's Details. We're going to be teaching him how to do wet sanding, paint correction, all that kind of stuff. And as well, we talk a little bit on our training. We talk a little bit about the business side because this is very important guys uh because it don't make sense if we know how to do all these things if we don't know how to run our business uh we are always trying to get knowledge you know from other people around you know the industry in order to kind of provide uh knowledge to to our customers whenever this training is 101 so it's it comes with a ton of information not just how to wet sand how to do paint correction how to apply the coating it comes as well with some knowledge about the business side, if that makes sense. So as well, we're gonna have two mobile jobs, which now, how we're gonna do it? We have Julian, we have Ivan, and it's me as well, and everything, all this is gonna happen in one day. So, all right guys, stay tuned, because once again, we're gonna show you a little bit of the process of every single step of what we're gonna be doing. So stay tuned, let's do it. All right guys, so this is the frame that we're gonna be installing. This frame is made of aluminum, 100%, and it's built in one piece. As you guys can see, we have the gallon size holders over here, generator slide out, and we have this other shelf over here. This one here is to install anything that you might gonna need, you know, like polisher racks, whatever. We pre-drilled this hose in order to get the, all the connections in and out, stuff like that. These shelves on the back section, you know, as well, you know, to set up your towels or anything that you need, you know, kind of handy. Uh, you can set up a toolbox in this case. I don't know if this customer wants the uh, toolbox or anything like that. But yeah, we're gonna set up everything for him, reels and, and all that stuff. So that is the idea. With the toolbox, it's gonna look kind of like that, but that's something that he can always add, you know, why you know he keep uh progressing or whatever you know he can you can always add stuff to the to the frames you know to the setups uh also we have diamond plated doors painted black as well they look pretty good so yeah that's what we ivan is going to be taking care of this setup and i will be doing the training with him and julian is going to be doing the two jobs mobile it's going to be a two full details two full interior and exterior details all right, let's All right, continue. Guys, so my client just got here and we are pretty much unboxing all of the stuff that we're gonna be using. As you guys can see, we have a lot of mug shine stuff, bottle holders, polish holders. We got the remote controls over here, extra stuff, uh, quick disconnects, many things that we need. The pump, this is the pump over here. So, a lot of stuff. A lot of cardboard. Oh, I'm sorry, Bobo. A lot of cardboard right there <laughs> that we accumulate all the time. But yeah, this thing is gonna look super nice. Look at this. The new type of pressure washer. We're gonna be testing out this thing right now and see what happens. We'll let you guys know how this thing works. So, got the Predator. We've got the rigid, very nice.
customer of what you can do when you're going to be doing the, uh, the correction of stages because you can do one step, two steps, many things, wet sanding, all that kind of stuff. But you got to make sure it's a little bit different, maybe it's not so much, but it's depending on the quality of work that you're going to be doing as well, you know. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go over all that stuff. Okay. Want something to drink? Sure. Thank you. I don't know how much. Yeah, it's the only two things that I have. That's awesome. All right. All right, guys. So as you guys saw, uh, we already did the prep. Uh, well, I don't even show you any of that stuff to you guys. But anyway, we did the prep work and everything. We washed the vehicle. Uh, we talk about different scenarios. You know, whenever we are kind of doing um, the um, the preparation, you know, to start, you know, applying coat, um, doing the paint correction, and then applying the coating. So far, this is all we've been doing. Ivan is working out there on the setup, and as well, Julian is doing the two mobile jobs uh, while we are here, you know, with Luis. Uh, so, he, can you tell us where you're coming from and everything, if you don't mind? Yeah, I come from uh, Destin, Florida, which is the Panhandle area. Uh, for those of you who don't know uh, where Destin is, it's basically close to Tallahassee and Pensacola. Yeah, so once again, uh, what we are doing here is we are kind of learning a little bit of everything, not just on how to apply the coating or how to do the correction. We are talking about the business as well, because once again, it don't make sense if you know how to do all those things, if, if you don't know how to kind of bring those customers in and you know what type of expectations the customers are going to have of the job that you're going to be providing. So that's very important and that, that's why we or I like to talk about all the stuff over here, you know, on our training. So, all right, let's continue. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. So we're gonna find out on this little one. Mm -hmm. We wanna see how many mils. That's nine mils. That's even more than what we got mm -hmm. in, in the paint. So, if you look at the thickness of that, that is your base coat paint and clear coat in this. So you, can, you gotta be careful, basically. This is just so you know, kind of like the uh, the thickness, you know? But at the same time, it, you, you wanna kind of be aware of what you're dealing with, you know? That's why I'm showing you this, you know? So that's it, this one here. That's three meals. That's kind of like three, almost four meals, almost what a lot of vehicles, they're gonna come with four meals, which is not gonna be kind of like this right here. You see? Mm -hmm. So it's it's pretty thin. <laughs> so, but you you still can. That's scary. <laughs> you you still can play with it and everything, but uh, you know. Um, once again, let's see. Eight meals. That's a lot. Oh, but that we got. This nail right here, I know this area has, has been repainted and that's what you got more on this area here. Mm. But yeah, um, the so yeah, you have a, when, you, when you see eight mils, it's basically a lot yeah. to pay with. It, it, yeah, sometimes whenever a car is being repainted, you got about, sometimes you got even 14 mils or something, depending on the painter, you know. So you have more you see, Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this one here, you got five mils, and over there you got like eight some. Yeah, you, we got the tools, you know, for 
for this. Now, right now knowing the amount of clear code that you got and everything, obviously when you have like let's say three meals or something like that, I would just suggest to the client to do maybe one step of selection and that's it. You know, depending on how the vehicle looks as well, you know. Yeah. Just remember, you're gonna get new cars, you know, they they are not in bad shape. Uh, they just require like a super light paint enhancement, you know, and then you're gonna be applying the coating right on top of it, you know. So it's, it's those those are the ones I like better. <laughs> so when you when you get like a brand new car, right? Let's say decent amount. Like let's say you get a 911. You know, for example, there's a lot of them over there. That's why I mm. put them as a as an example. Yeah. Um, you come, you get a customer with a 911 or a Corvette, barely new, barely any even scratches. You know, um, what would you suggest as far as going with the with the you know one step or two step? How would you? If it's new, that, that's where you kind of talk to your client, but and that's where we're going right now. I'm gonna do two two. Uh, like like a test spot over here, mm -hmm. and let's pretend that you're my client, and okay. I'm gonna treat you like my client right now. Okay, so that way you are paying for. You're gonna let me know what it's, how far you wanna go with your vehicle, you know, because we are going back to the business. Uh, you cannot tell the customer, oh, bring it to me. This is gonna be perfect. You you don't wanna talk like that as a business owner. You wanna kind of show him exactly what you're going to be able to do on the vehicle. If they are shooting for perfection, that that's what they pay me for and they, that's what they want, then you're going to charge them a good amount of money, you know, for that. But if they understand and they say like, okay, you're going to show them, you know, what you can do, how far you can go, because that's as well, if, if the car is, has a lot of scratches and they say, I want my car to be perfect, but you're not only like 390 some mils on the paint. What you gonna do? Let them know. I can't do it because yeah. this is what we got. This is what I can do for you. It always goes back to that, you know, to talk to right. that, that small devices. Exactly, you got it. Right. Exactly. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, because according to that, you're gonna be able to tell what happens if you don't have that device. I mean, you can do it without. But what happens if you don't have it? Basically, you're you're, you don't you're know basically exactly. work you're basically working lines, you know, line, yeah. line you Yeah, say. and because you don't know how much you got to work with. And if let's work. say that you you say you are sending a two-step paint correction, but you got only like three mils of paint, three point five mm -hmm. mils of paint, and you are doing your first stage and all that stuff, then you can easily burn into the paint if you're not careful. So that job that you were selling, now you burn into the pain. Now, you now if you're an honest person, you're gonna let them know and tell them, hey, this happens. But whose fault is, is yours. It's mine. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, you're, you're trying to run a business, but at the same time, you don't got the proper stuff. Once again, you can go cheap, but that's, you're gonna be limited as well on what you can do because if somebody brought this vehicle, I got only three meals or something, or I don't know what I got. The only thing I want to offer to this client is probably one step. I mean, with time, you're going to be able to know like what you can get out and what you can't. Which we're going to go in, into that as well, you know. And that's what we're going to be practicing. Okay. All the kind of stuff, you know. But yeah, that's something that we need to kind of concentrate right now. We're going to do a test spot over here and see what happens. <laughs> So, so far we are doing really good. Um, I'm assuming he's getting a lot of knowledge or no. I'm getting a lot of great knowledge. <laughs> okay. Uh, but anyways, uh, we are working over here on this test hood right now, which we can create scratches. That's what we're going to be doing next. Creating some light scratches so he can kind of find out uh, what type of scratches he can get rid of and what type of scratches he can't you know and stuff like that which is many scratches over here that we can use an example and things like that so but yeah 
we are using Ivan's vehicle for, you know, to this is where we're going to be applying the ceramic coating and stuff like that. So far, we did a two step paint correction just in the hood. And that's where we're going to be applying a two, five and 10 year coating. So he can feel the difference from one coating and another one. OK, so that's the reason why I do it that way. Um, and he's been learning about the products, all that kind of stuff. So, all right, that's that's what we're going what, what we got going on as well, Ivan is out there working on the setup, which that thing is gonna look amazing as well. So, but that one, we will complete that one tomorrow because it's gonna be, it's like a two day process in order to complete the setup. Uh, but I'll, as well, I'm gonna show you guys all the stuff here in this video. So stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Let's keep Lunch going. time. Look what I find over here. Cars price where the house. Let's see what we got in there. And talking about good lighting and stuff like that, you know, to be able to find all the defects and stuff like that. We got we just got this from Car Supplies Warehouse that we purchased. So it's a nice, nice, nice skin grid. I do have another one. This one is the one I like to, you know, whenever I'm applying ceramic coatings. I like to kind of see, you know, better when the coating is kind of, you know, doing either the rainbow effect or sweating, all that kind of stuff. And as well to make sure I'm not leaving any high spots behind. So we're gonna get into that here shortly. All right, let's check it out. Oops, one hand, one hand. There you go. Very nice. Yep. Now we already did the, uh, pretty much the IPA wipe down and stuff like that. Uh, so we're gonna use this hood and we're gonna put, let's say like two coins, two, two to three different coins on this hood. Mm -hmm. We're gonna use like a two year coin, maybe a five year coin here, and a 10 year coin on this side so you see the difference. But we're gonna do a small section, so I'm gonna do one section. So you see how I'm going to be applying this section and then you. All right, guys. So over here, we already start applying the crystal over here. We got the max, we got the pro. So we are trying to see what type of reaction, how they look, how, what type of effect they're going to be doing when, whenever we are applying this coating. So, um, and that's the idea, you know, so you know exactly how they react and everything that's, is going to be depending on as well on the weather or how hot it is, how humid it is and all that stuff. So the main thing is to look at the coating the first time you're applying it and see what type of reaction it's gonna do. That's gonna tell you like how soon you need to level it and remove or remove the coating, you know, stuff like that. So, all right, that's what we got going on. We're gonna continue, let's go. Well, with my student over here, Luis from the man <laughs> under pressure. Under pressure. All right. So I like that name. So, anyways, we are we finished yesterday with the training, and then we continue working on this mobile detail setup. Uh, we just finished. We just got to do a few things here and there, but I, I can't wait to show you guys how this thing turned out. Which, once again, these they are start kind of looking the same thing, but. You guys wonder why as a business owner we want systems that work for us and this is a system that has been working for me so this is my recommendation pretty much uh for anybody to ask me what type of setup 
if you guys want something custom as well i can do whatever you guys want me to do like if you guys want something custom i will do something custom uh but this is so far what we got going on uh but before i show you guys and everything i want to make sure my client is happy and we're going to ask him what he thinks about <laughs> you don't even gotta ask me you tell it in my face it's <laughs> amazing this is amazing work right here i have i, I would have never thought i would got i would have something like this awesome this awesome. is amazing what you did here man i don't even have words to say how how great it is it's amazing appreciate I love you it. man Thank i love you. it I what love do you think about the training as well oh the training was important for me I man need to the know. training the training was great i mean very knowledgeable I mean, there was a lot of things that I didn't even know uh, that I didn't even think they were like that. And when I came here and trained with Tony, it was a whole different story. It was a great, it was a really great experience overall Amazing. with the with the training, with the setup. It's it's I'm about to get emotional, man, but it was great. It was great. <laughs> I'm just super excited because I worked so hard for this. And now that I've accomplished it, it's it's it gets me it gets me pretty emotional in a way. But everything i mean if you if you really need knowledge on on this kind of stuff and training whether it's a setup or you know if you need help with ceramic coating man this is the man right here appreciate no you doubts. bro no doubts this is the man thank you so much <laughs> brother appreciate it. that's kind of like a five star review on google right there guys so that's that's kind of what it makes me happy as well you know the you know like i want to make things happen you know for for you guys and all that stuff so let me show you guys how this thing looks and everything which over here that you guys can see we have the max shine uh, bottle holders now i do want to mention something max shine now have the uh you know these bottle holders that you guys are gonna be able to fit the ik uh type of sprayers so they are really nice i really like it also over here we have the uh, brush holder as well we can add more stuff you know on this door and he can in the future he can add you know the tool bags that we normally use and many more things you know in this case we have retractable reel for the pressure washer and you guys can see this thing looks great we have a lot more space up here to you know to, to install your towels you can put your tools like anything that you might want to install over here now let me bring you guys on this side in this side we have more max shine this is the uh, polisher holder pad holder and everything in this case we are going with a new pressure washer which he chose this this pressure washer is a D wall. Um, I never see it before, but I'm sure this thing is gonna work great. So it's good. 65 gallon water tank, which is what I normally recommend for these type of um, bangs. Reason why? Uh, you guys gotta keep in mind that we have around 1600 pounds of capacity. So that right there, you know, like 65 gallons so of. Um, 65 gallons of water that kind of weights the setup is kind of light uh you guys can be you guys gonna be able to pull it out and all that stuff if you guys ever have any problems because this is uh built in one solid piece everything is aluminum so you don't have to worry about rust or anything like that on this setup i'm pretty sure the bang is gonna get rusted before this over here so uh we have over here the rigid um air compressor so it's a nice one as you guys know we have the predator as well i love that generator the reason why is because it's easy access like if you guys something happens with it you know you just buy the extended warranty which is a two year and this thing is gonna you know you just bring it to them they, they they're not gonna ask any questions so you can just bring it back get a new one and that's it so that's the reason why i really like this one over any other any other one so all right Let's go to the other side so I can show you guys what's going on on the other side. Excuse for the shakiness, but I don't have no gimbal with me. We have the nice generator slide out over here uh, in order for you to, you know, be able to fill it up, you know, with gas and everything. And as well, we create this nice shelf on top of it so we can maximize all the space and stuff like that. In this case, he he did order a different vacuum, but uh, since I did recommend him the Beast, which is the one I love, um, he, he already ordered it and we, he's gonna be installing that one there um, whenever he gets home and all the stuff. Once again, we got the pump, we got the plumbing, everything is really good. It's bolted. If you guys ever need to pull it out, just you guys just need to remove those two bolts, slide it out get the new bang let's go all right that is the way it works if you guys 
want any products, anything that you guys might think, like for, for example, Max Shine, if you guys type Roldos 15, you guys will be able to save 15% on anything that you guys purchase from them. Car Supplies Warehouse, make sure to type Rolda 10 without the S. Rolda 10, you guys wanna be able to save 10% on anything that you guys might purchase from them. So don't forget that. All right, guys, I think that's gonna be it. Are you happy? Excited, <laughs> excited. All right, let's test this thing out. Let's go, let's move on. Hey guys, so like I said, we was just about to test this out and I wanna show you guys how this thing works. As you guys can see, we have three reels over here and we have three numbers right here, which is your remote control and you can operate all this stuff just from this control. So let me show you guys how this thing works. For example, we have the vacuum hose reel over here. So all you gotta do is press number one. Then you got suction, press, them, press off, and then you're gonna be able to turn it off. Just that simple. Let's talk about the air compressor now. Press number two. You got your pressure washer. Press number three. Pressure washer on. Turn it off. Release the pressure. And roll it back in. Just like that. Super simple. Super nice. If you want to be efficient on your details, this is the way to go. Alright? Stay tuned. For all the details, like, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.